Hey everybody, it's Amber from Micro Artistry and I am here today with my husband Robert. Hey everyone. And I'm just kind of giving you guys a life update and a business update. Um, it's been a little while since I've posted on YouTube and that's been because of a lot of change that's kind of gone on with us personally and in the business. Um, so we have moved to Texas. We're here in our new studio in um, Georgetown, Texas, which is just north of Austin, Texas. And um, we moved here because there's a lot of opportunities for our family, a lot of opportunities for business that aren't present in California. And um, to talk about that, I will introduce Robert and let him kind of give you guys a little bit of an update as well. Hey everyone, um, some of you know me, you've met me at Amber's office or you've seen me in some of her videos as a model for some of her procedures, or you met <laughs> me at my training. <laughs> yeah, or you met me at my business in uh, in Morgan Hill in California, which was California Prenatal Imaging. I may have done your three forty ultrasound. Um, in moving to Texas, there's a lot of services we can offer here that we couldn't offer in California because the regulations were really, really harsh. But here in Texas, we're allowed to acquire certifications for these services like laser hair removal, laser tattoo removal. Now, if Amber has a client who comes in and her she has previous permanent makeup and the correction is, is not going to give the result she wants, we can do removal and then do the procedure and get a much better result. Um, in addition to that, Amber wants to do some training for some fillers and Botox. So we're going to be turning microartistry into more of an all-around spa and um, and seeing how many different services we can offer and how um, how great that's going to be. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. We're going to switch. We're going. My background is more in cosmetology, as you guys may know. So I've been a cosmetologist since two thousand four. And I uh, went ahead and finished my bachelor's degree later. Um, Robert owned the ultrasound business. And so things just got really crazy in California, like right as COVID was hitting. And our businesses were like pretty much at the peak, peak busyness they ever. Were, they were right growing about then. Very, yes, very they had fast. grown to crazy levels. And we have three kids. So we kind of were able to take a little bit of a step back and take a breather and just go, whoa, like we have been running like chickens with our heads cut off, working, kids, school, everything crazy. Mm -hmm. And COVID, as negative as that has been for a lot of us and our businesses and our a, industry and every industry. It was a huge wake up call for us to pump the brakes and um, check our priorities and figure out that we probably needed to um, find a place where we could have more with our families and spend more quality time with our children. And we loved Texas so much already that we decided that was the transition that we needed to make. Mm -hmm. It's very friendly for business, but it's also so good for our family. So we were able to get a nice piece of property with room for the kids to run and chickens Some and a garden and, and a second house uh, my aunt has cancer so she's living with us in her in our second house and just the ability to really prioritize family and what's important family health you know these things which are very important really important yeah and so we, we did was we sold robert's business and we hightailed it out of california and here we yeah. are so um, so now it's, it's taken some time. Um, we've done a big build out on this uh, little office that we're in right now, mm -hmm. and we have taken some time to figure out where our priorities lie and where we want to see this business role in the future. We've done a lot of work. I don't know if any of you have been on uh, Micro Artistry Academy or Amber's online store with her products. She's been innovating products and just um, really done a lot of growth there. So we're looking forward For to the, the future. Animation. Um, a lot. Brown animation is going to be huge. So if you guys haven't looked into it or trained for it, it's really important. You know, like it's another service that you can offer to your clients if you have any gaps in your schedule. It's a really fun service to learn too, and clients love it. They become really obsessed with it. So um, that's another thing. You know, we've been really working on the online portion of the business this past year. It's been a year almost since COVID hit. Mm -hmm in California and all the shutdowns happened and everything like that. So um, just wanted to kind of come on here. We're going to show you guys the studio and um, give you some uh, just 
No, like just a little bit of, <laughs> we're just here to kind of tell you guys what, what's going on. And, and, um, and to kind of reintroduce ourselves because it's been a while since any content has gone out onto YouTube or yeah, I have a lot of followers, really so lot of, I need to be up on it. Yeah, um, so, so we are, uh, we're going to be showing you some new offerings soon and give you a walk around Amber's office. Okay, everybody, so this is the door to my studio. This studio is about 500 square feet. Um, this is our ear piercing station. And then as we look around, there's my station here. I've got my ring light and all my certifications and licenses. And my studio in Texas is only 500 square feet. I only wanted a small space um, just to start since I don't have a clientele here yet. I didn't want to get into another large salon. Um, I've owned two large salons since I was 27. I think I was 26 or 27 when I opened my first salon. And managing people and all of that stuff, that's just not something I really want to do to start. Um, but if it grows and if things are going well and you know, our work-life balance is good, then maybe in the future. So this is my little desk and this is our waiting area. Lots of light. I really like this studio because it has a lot of windows. And then I've got a little kitchenette back here. And this is where I take my before and after photos with my ring light. And then um, this is a different room, which is going to be our laser room when um, when Robert starts doing laser, which he's taking the training for in March. So that's going to turn into a laser room, but right now it's just storage. And so, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, I have a really fun video coming up. Robert did... Robert is super handy. He's a jack of all trades. So... He did the entire build out for this office um, and all of our offices prior to. He did California Prenatal Imagings and he did my other micro artistry location in the Bay Area. Um, so we actually decided to kind of film it this time just because we thought it would be super fun. So um, we filmed it and I'm editing it. Um, hopefully this week I can get it on and uh, you can kind of just see like how this transitioned from being bare bones with um like ugly floors to as pretty as it is now so yeah i just wanted to kind of pop on and tell you guys what's going on and why don't you guys write me in the comments and tell me how COVID has affected your businesses and what you guys have done to adapt because we either adapt or we die right so dying is not an option <laughs> um so just wanted to come in and say hi so write me in the comments